All right, I'm here with the DGT Pegasus, and um, yeah, I'm gonna play a game on chess.com. I think it occurred to me that I did not play on chess.com with the DGT board yet, and probably likely for the reason is because I don't play on chess.com a lot with my boards anyway. And that's because if you look here in the settings here for the board, that you these are the only settings you have with the board. You only have time control settings. You can't pick what color you want to play with, and you can't pick pick if you play rated or not. So um, again, that's the only thing you get through the chess.com app. There may be other third party ways you can connect to chess.com with this board. I'm not entirely sure, but um, you, you probably can research that. But anyway, we're just going to go ahead and play with this app here and uh, hit start. Go ahead and put. All right, so we finally got a game here, and <laughs> this is three blacks in a row. Uh, this is exactly why, um, you know, one of the things that you should be able to pick your own color so you don't have to worry about playing three blacks in a row. Now, sometimes if you're trying to play a certain opening, you know, that might be one thing, but in this case, um, you know, I wanted just to play white, an unrated game, so I can just demonstrate here. But anyway, uh, this here, I think, is a check variation of the perk. What I'm going to play here is a not a great opening. I'm going to go a, a queen a5. This is kind of a no-no, but again, this is not an opening you'd play in a serious like tournament game. I don't, at a lower level, you might. Who knows? But um, the whole idea here that you want to go ahead and uh, push e5 and have e5 supported by the queen. You want to push that as fast as you can. And um, also another thing you want to do is because technically, think about it. The C3 knight is pinned. If I bring my knight to F3, I mean the um, F6, I would be threatening the E4 pawn. So let's see what he does. Most people would go F3 here, knight F3. That's what I'm thinking he's going to do. Or well, some people take. Okay, he goes here. Okay, so now some a lot of people drop this pawn. So you play, just try this variation out. You'll probably see a lot of people drop this pawn. I would say when I say a lot, I'm talking like maybe twenty percent, twenty percent of the time, maybe fifteen percent of the time, but a good number of the time, a lot of people drop this pawn because they they don't really even consider that as being threatened right now. In this case. He did not drop the pawn, but um, uh, he, you know, he's uh, playing with fire here. So anyway, let me go ahead and develop my bishop. So, you know, if your opponent doesn't play this opening right, I mean, you could have a nicely developed queen on a5, but um, but again, again, it's not a, I wouldn't say it's a dubious opening, but it's, I would say it's what you might would consider a playable opening. How about that? Okay, let's go ahead and castle. You can also go b4 in some cases, even though you're sacrificing a pawn. Go b4 and then um, um, bring your bishop out to a6. I mean, that's always an option there. Because you want to leave this tension in the center here to see, to see exactly what uh, black does. Let's see here. We're going to develop our knight. We ain't going to worry about sacrificing this pawn just yet. We ain't going to worry about it. Okay. All right. So now 
That was not such a hot move by black, by white. Okay, let's bring our rook over here in front of his queen. What? And then, um, okay, he comes here. I know he's gonna push the queen away. That's, that's always the, a typical strategy in this opening. So. Let's go ahead and take this pawn here. See what he does. Let's see what he does. Okay, I knew he was gonna take that. Yep, that's perfect. And then we're just gonna go here first. We'll just, we'll just check first. You wanna take that back and see he's kinda, even though this pawn's got more space, he kinda just uh, somewhat freed my position a little bit because now I can take that knight with my knight there and then move my other knight and then also now have a little scope for my bishop. So, um, so we can just go ahead and uh, let's push this here first. So that way we'll have more of an option to bring the bishop out. There's no rush for the knight. Okay, yeah, I kind of figured he might would do that, which is uh, pretty. Let's go here, see if we can get him to push some pawns here. Because he kind of has to do something here. I'm threatening a fork on this king, actually. Okay, let's go here to force that trade. Yep. We're gonna force that trade there. Okay, if they push this up here, let's go ahead and get on the open file. Let's go ahead and get on this open file. Because again, the thing that I'm looking for, and he brought his knife over here. So he's gonna hop his knight in. Let's go here. Got to protect my A-pawn. I already see what he's going to do, but I'm not going to trade Rook, so I'm going to just let him sit. Yep, I kind of figured he might do that there, so we're just going to come here. We're not going to trade. We're going to trade when we get ready. Yep. That's nice. So he's gonna double his rooks, that's totally okay. Okay.
I think he's going to bring his rook down to tr thinking I'm just going to go ahead and trade rooks and give him that so then he can bring his rook over to a8, but that's not going to happen. I'm going to just go king to um, f. Um, might go to, I don't know if I'm going to g2 or f2. only reason why I think I might go to f2 is because he might can sometimes take that pawn with check. But then I'd be kind of far away from the action, though. Okay. Well, we'll take that. That, that alleviates some pressure. He should have just not done that, in all honesty. He should have just not even done that. He should have just... Uh, Because that knight was was pretty strong where it stood. I couldn't really do anything with it. So now we can just go ahead and uh, come over here. And now we can go ahead and commence trading all the pieces. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Where, where did he go? Okay, he's right here. Okay, now we can go here. Yeah, I think, uh, see, that's why this open is a little bit dubious. I mean, it gives, you know, white mainly more activity than black, but, you know, sometimes you just might want to play something different. And again, you, you don't, you want that rook to stay. Yeah, that's what I'm about to say. Yeah, you know, he's going to leave. He's going to have to trade. And now he, you know, if he's not really good at an end game, he better watch out. Here's all I got to say for sure, because uh, you don't want to get yourself in some some trouble here. Let me see. It doesn't matter. Should I take or not? Should I push? That's the question here. I mean, I'll just push because, I mean, there's nothing he can do with any of this. Okay, he goes here. I'll just push again. They say when you got a bishop that's a bad bishop, they make they they are bad bishop, but they also a good defensive piece. So my bishop doesn't even have to move, and um, we can just go ahead and go here, so they won't have to worry about that. Oh wait a minute, sorry, I got to push this king first, and um, go here. Yeah, this is a draw here. And you'd have to make a serious blunder to lose this game. Yeah, if you push here, I'm just gonna go over here. I could have took, but that wouldn't be. Yeah, the next thing that this is a tricky thing here. They might want to try to take here if you get far enough away. So if you take back, you know, you can um so what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and back this up to here. So that way that won't ever happen because in some cases, somebody could play some, could play really tricky. And um, now I can go over here all I want because he can't do that now. I can just take, if you take this pawn with the bishop, I'll take with the bishop. Okay. I'm not sure where he's going over here, but... Um, Yeah, it doesn't matter. I can go here. I'll go here just because he's going over here. <laughs> just in case there's some trick I don't know about, I'm not going to stay far away. Yep, yeah, that's cool. My bishop is a perfect bishop. <laughs> there's nothing you could do with any of this. He has the best bishop, but it's also um, not the greatest bishop. Okay, takes, yep. 
I could, I'm just going to go here. I'm not going to do anything fast. I could go queen, king takes king, but then he would have something. But um, no, we're not, we're not playing any of those games. Okay. We'll just come over here and do the same thing he's doing. How long is it going to take? He's, he's, he's going to try to win on time. Oh, no, it looked like he offered a draw. Here, let's see, can I offer a draw? No, how do you offer? How do you? Is it here? No. I don't even know how to offer. I don't even know how to. How do you? I don't even know how to offer a draw here. Uh, I better just move. I don't even know how to offer a draw here. That's another thing that their stuff is not that intuitive. Because the only thing I can do here is hit resign. Okay, it says a, a draw would you accept. Okay. All right, so there we go. We accepted the draw. That's what it is. It popped up at the top. I didn't even see it. I guess on the if you was playing on your phone, you might see it better than you would see it on the tablet. But um, that's um what um you know what, what how you play and what, what, what it's like to play on chess.com with the DGT Pegasus. Um, I don't have any issues with the board. I mean, it plays just well. I mean, it plays great. Um, no, no piece recognition. I think I move some pieces kind of swiftly there time to time. Um, Sometimes I mix and match pieces on squares and, you know, kind of, you know, for example, make a move before I move my opponent's piece and then put it back and move his piece and then move my piece and have had no issue. So, you know, if you're a chess.com person, if you love chess.com and this and you want to play over the board on chess.com, you know, this Pegasus is a great option for that. So with that said, um, post any questions in the comments and I'll see if I can figure those out. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.